Very welcome here today to the Carboil uh, stand here at the National Plowing. We decided that we'd put on a competition running over the last few months for the ladies out there. We have our final here today at, at the National Plowing when we have down to our, our five finalists. Today for MC is Dara McCauley, editor of the uh, Farming Independent. Today a very important day for these uh, five ladies in the Lady Farmer of the Year competition 2015. And there's fantastic prizes, you know, there's a lot at stake here, no pressure. Uh, but first prize is, I'm told, is a luxury spa weekend away, plus 500 euros spending money. So you get the loot, plus the luxury. Uh, of course, the international fame as well, yeah? So, without any further ado, maybe give a big round of applause to Anne-Marie Burns O'Reilly. She's all the way from Leitrim. Hi, Anne-Marie. Hi, Dara, how are you? I'm absolutely grand. Now, tell me about your farm and your involvement at home. Uh, 70 acres in Galway. So I have my own farm there. I'm an only child and I took over the farm this year. And I have 15 cows and calf now at the moment. And I bought a new bull this year. You know, it's been, it, I've been brought up with farming since I was able to walk. I've been up in machinery and all that kind of stuff. Even when I was pregnant with my first child, I was banned from all machinery. And I hear you're, you're just after having your second child. And it wasn't long before you were out pitching bales back up on trailers again. I was, well, I was in the mart selling Waynelands. So it was, yeah, it's, it's hard going, but I couldn't do it without the support of, I suppose, grandparents and my husband. And I suppose when you look at it that way, without them, it wouldn't be the business that it is. I, I depend on them a lot. If we're dosing cattle, if there's cows, calves and our aunts, and I have to turn to Nanny and Granddad and say, here, will you mind the kids? We're going off doing this. And I suppose with my husband as well, it's, it's partnership. We have everything kind of, the calendar just be full of times of things that we have to do and we work well together because I help out in his farm in Leitrim and he does the same for me. And you've, you've, you've studied uh, agriculture or at least a form of agriculture? Yeah, I had the, after my leaving cert I did a PLC course and then I went on to do agribusiness and rural development and my first year was in the Ag College in Mount Bellew. Um, the best year I have to say I ever had anywhere and really brought me out of myself. Yeah. <laughs> and I suppose I had the experience, I worked with the Chanel group as well in Loch Ray in the for all through college and all of that and I suppose I have to mention them because Michael Burke really told me and taught me what business was like what I learned there I brought into my farm as well so okay uh, Anne-Marie uh, well I think she's given a wonderful insight into just a little snapshot into our busy busy life ladies and gentlemen a big round of applause there for Anne-Marie Burns O'Reilly well done all the way from uh, County Leitrim Another round of applause here for our next contestant, Geraldine Faherty, all the way from County Galway. Come on up here, Geraldine. How are you doing? All right now. Tell us a little bit about your, your involvement in the farm. Um, I'm actually, my farm is out the Iron Island. Um, I, I live in Galway. Um, it's just a small farm. I have about nine cattle all together, and mostly for, just for calving. And I have a bull, and we breed our own. Why have you got into farming? Well, it's my, uh, my mother had a small farm and my brother was farming and he became sick and my mother asked me to take over from her. So do you live on the mainland and commute to the island or are you an islander yourself? I'm an islander myself, but I used to live in the island and I left the island. Uh, it's hard to make a living on the island. You cannot have a big farm on the Iron Islands because the land is not there. Everybody owns so much. Do you rely on help much or are you able to do most of the work yourself? Uh, I would rely on help for bringing the stuff in. It's a lot better than what it used to be because in the old days it was curricks. You'd have to go into a boat and bring, put the cattle into the ocean, into the sea and drag them behind the curricks. But now you can load them into a trailer, put them onto the boat and they're lifted by crane into the boat and off on the other side. Would you ever trade the land you have on the island for land on the mainland and try and develop a, a farm on the mainland then? No, because I at least on the, on the island you can cannot be stolen, which is a big problem now for on the mainland. When you're not farming, uh, Geraldine, what are you doing with your time? Tell us a little bit about your life outside the farm, so to speak. Well, actually, I work in the post office. <laughs> I sort post. I used to be the post woman and English man. So I work in the post at night and I do my farming during the day. I do uh, 11 to half six on a Sunday and 1 to 6 30. 1 a.m. Yeah, so there wasn't much time for socializing. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you're, you're burning the candle at both ends. When do you sleep? Uh, daytime. 
Good on you. Well, listen, that's Geraldine Faherty there giving us a little insight into life on, on the island. Well done, Geraldine, and thanks so much for talking to us. Okay, uh, Geraldine Hurley, come on over here to me. This is um, Geraldine from Brewery in County Limerick. Hello, Geraldine. How are you, Derry? Uh, tell me a little bit about um, your, your connection with farming. Well, I'm from a farming background. I was reared in a small farm in Croom, and I met Liam then, and of course, the rest is history. I moved to Grana, and we're farming there on 50 acres at home and 32 on an outside farm. It's a dairy farm. It's only dairy. Well, dairy, and we keep all the, the cows as well. I go out helping Liam every day on the farm, making the cows. And do you, do you, are you the person putting on the cups? I do, yes. I do every day. He used work outside of the farm for a number of years, and that time I used to do it myself, morning and evening. But uh, at the moment, now we've progressed a bit, and he's at home with me. The, the big uh, discussion in Darien uh, over the last 12 months was are you expanding, and if so, by how much? What did you end up doing on your own farm? Well, we're hoping now at the moment to buy another 12 acres beside us, so that's going to allow us maybe 10 or 12 cows more. So, please God, by the end of the year, we'll probably own that. So, um, in terms of, of farming, I mean, do you see some of your own kids coming into the farm, or is that something that you have any aspirations tied up in? Well, we are hoping, Daniel, our youngest son, we're hoping he'll come into the farm. He's 13 at the moment, and he's shown interest. And he likes it, he likes the animals and everything like that. And, and you consider it a good way of life, uh, 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 and that there's good prospects? It is a good way of life. It's a lovely way to bring up children. What's your favourite job on the farm? Oh, my goodness. The calves maybe clean them out and seeing the new calves in the spring being born. It's lovely. You're not like me getting frustrated with a bloody calf that won't drink. I don't do that part. Liam does that. Yeah. <laughs> but maybe you're the business You're the business head in the relationship, are you? I don't know. I prefer to milk the cows. <laughs> well, look at Geraldine. Uh, thanks so much. That's Geraldine Hurley there all the way from... Uh, brewery in County Limerick. Yeah. Round of applause for Hannah Laciers. Is that the right way? Am I pronouncing your name wrong? Landers. Landers. Oh, sorry. Okay, my apologies. Hannah Landers. All the way from County Kerry. I'm, I'm blaming the print on the page here. Hannah, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, I'm married to Peddy and we have two fat and children. Uh, we have a mixed farm of dairy, beef and sheep. Uh, we own 160 acres and we have 110 rentals. I do the milking every day with Paddy and I do all the farm accounts and paperwork associated with the farm. But well, the, the two years would be down the pit the whole time, would you? Um, yes, I'd be doing the milking, Paddy would be doing the feeding, but in 2012 we installed a new 14 unit Alpha uh, Delaval parlour, which uh, reduced our milking time by 21 hours a week. So that was a big investment and obviously you were kind of looking to the future and looking to expansion. Yes, and to make life more easier for ourselves. So even when milk price is, say, 25 cents a litre as it is now, it, it, are you able to um, keep your heads above water for that, or is it just that you're eating into the savings? I suppose when the gun gets soft, the truck has to get going, and um, once we budget for the lowest figure in milk, we'll succeed. I think at the moment we have enough because we have uh, the suckler herd and uh, pedigree textile sheep as well, the lowlands. Uh, I was secretary of the Kerry Frisian Breathers for seven years and during that seven years we restarted the health competition and in that I became the coordinator and have been doing that for the past 15 years. Uh, I work at the home health outside of the farm on a part-time basis. So How many days a week is that? I work 12 days, I have uh, the next week in dot. 12 days on and then two days off. We can keep our heads above water because of my income and it's such a the sheep as well, we're okay. So it's farming 24-7 with you, is it? Um, if you love something, it's okay. Listen, big round of applause there for Hannah Landers. Well done, Hannah. Uh, on, on to our last contestant, Joy Carton. Give her a big round of applause. Hiya, Joy. You're all the way from the real capital. Tell us where. For now, I'm to Cork. Originally from Bandon, in West Cork, so grew up in the farm there. So. And when I moved up, to just go from one parlour to the other. So tell us a little bit about the farm. What you're, you're milking cows, many cows you milk, and where does the milk go, etc., etc. Yeah, well, we started with um, 18 cows 12 years ago. We have 110 now. Um, so we're supplying dairy gold. My husband Kevin is um, agriculture tractor. So um, I'm at home milking cows and 
We're having four children as well. I do 47 milkings out of 50. So you've gone, gone from 18 cows to 110 in about 12 years. Where will you be in 12 years time? Will you have encountered another tenfold increase? I don't know, um, a, small, a small increase, but not, not a lot. You want to be able to manage it as well yourself completely without running yourself into the ground at the same time. Uh, I, I was talking there to uh, Hannah about uh, milk expansion and, and she seemed pretty confident, you know, that even at the low prices, things you could make sense out of things. Well, you just have to go with the flow and like it will go down solo all right. But like if you just kind of keep your head, it has to, you know, you'll get your way out of it all right. You know, we keep all our calves, so you would be kept going. You, you know, it's, it's you're well able to clear into it. And do you ever see yourself in a situation where you'll say, you know what, I've actually done my time now on the farm and I'd like to spend more time off at doing other things? I don't know, that you... No, no, it's just for me and that's it and that's what I to do. That's where you're happiest? Yeah, that's where I'm happy, yeah. Good on you. Big round of applause for Joy there. <laughs> all the way from Town to Court. We're going to uh, pause for a few minutes while they have a little bit of a confab um, here. Okay, and the winner is Anne-Marie Burns-O'Reilly. Oh!